Miller Boy here. So today I'm going to be showing you the basics of using the creation kit. So first of all, of course, you want to get the creation kit. So if you've not downloaded it already, uh, watch my previous video and show you how to download and install that off Steam. Uh, but once you've done that, simply open it up and you should get something a bit like this. So with the first thing you want to do every time you open the creation kit is you want to load in all the files from Skyrim. So the way you do that is you go to the top of your screen, click File, Data, and then you should get a little window like this. So now, you should have a few um, a few items here. The first thing we want to do is double click Skyrim.esm. So let's do that. And basically, we're telling the creation kit we want to load all the files from here. So every time you have an X next to something, it loads all the files from it. So, if I'm making a new mod now, I can go and click OK, and I'm ready to, to start making my mod. But if I'm updating a mod that I've already made, for instance, like I've got my bigger houses, test, and Dr. Doolittle, what I want to do is, now if I just double left click, it'll, of course, yeah, it'll bring all the files out of my mod into um, the creation kit, but when I click save, it won't actually save it to the mod. So the way I actually make it save to the mod when I click save, is instead of double left click, we double right click. And that sets it, instead of plugin file, to active file. So an active file is the actual mod you're working on at the moment. So when you click save, it will always save to your active file. But um, we can also use this little button down here called set as active file, so I can toggle that on and off. But um, we're going to make a new one today, so we can uh, undo that and click OK. OK, so um, this might just take a few moments, um, or depending on how fast your computer is, uh, it might take a few minutes. Uh, so just bear with it. If it says not responding, that's perfectly normal. Just it just it's just loading a lot of stuff, so bear with it. But um yeah, once you get you might get a warning like this. Um this is perfectly normal. You have three options, yes, no, and yes to all. You just click yes to all and ignore what it says. That's perfectly normal to have that. Then it'll continue to load the rest of the files. So uh, like I said, just just wait a few minutes or go and do something else and come back. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, only a, f a few minutes if you've got a slower computer. But um, it 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 won't. It's not frozen or anything. It's just loading a lot of files. So don't click anything or anything. Um, okay, here we go, and it's done. So um, yeah, as you can see, it's we've got we've got three three w main windows in um, the creation kit. We've got the object window, we've got the render window, and the cell view. So uh, first of all, we're going to be looking at the object window. So um, if I minimize this category here. Um, well, of course, I'll show you the categories. We've got actors, audio, character, etc. And um, these are what um, all the um, objects in the game that this put into certain categories. So, for instance, if I wanted to find a magic spell, say I wanted to find the spell Firestorm, I'd go into Magic, and I'd go down to Spell. So I can expand the spell more. I find ability, a disease, a lesser power, a poison power, a spell, if I want to. Uh, so I could click Spell here. And then it, it narrows it down just to spells. So I can either go and do the usual uh, scroll down really slowly and look for it. Or I can do the more efficient way and use this little filter up here at the top. And just type in fire and it'll come up with all the fire spells and type in storm. And there we go, we've got fire storm and that's lovely. So uh, once you've found the object that you want, um, there's a few things you can do. In the little viewer here where you can view all the objects. Um, if I find Firestorm, if I right click it, I can click new, that'll make a new object. You can do this on right click and click new on anyone, it's not like related to the one that you right click on. So uh, don't worry about that. You can edit, which obviously you can edit it, but we'll go into that more detail in later tutorials. Duplicate, well obviously it duplicates it. Uh, delete, well that deletes it. Uh, preview, now um, I've not done this on a spell before, but say I preview on a character, it'll show me what the character looks like. If I click it on this, see it's not going to do anything because you can't really preview the spell. But um, if I chose it, actually I'll show you a character. So instead of typing Firestorm, I'll delete that. Uh, I won't click on spells, I'll click on, I'll minimize that. Click on actors, open that up, click on actor. And as you can see, we've got a list of actors now. So if I find someone, what about Agna? Agna's cool. So if I right click Agna, and click preview. There we go, look, there's Agna. How lovely does she look? Pretty cool, doesn't she? So and you can do a few things in here. You can see like the kind of animations that she'll have in games. So I can click hmm, attack power down here. And you can see how she attacks like that. Um, the forward sprint attack like that. Left attack, etc. So you can see how that works. So have some fun with that. 
But uh, the other options are uh, recal bounds, don't know what that does. Uh, create new object window, that just basically makes another object window. So if I do that now, there we go, I've got another object window now. Um, and the last one is use and fill. Now if I click on this one, this opens up another little window. Um, this is not a very good example, let me click off that. Uh, let me, I know who to find, I'll type in O. Oh, Ulfric Stormcloak, here we go. So if I right click Ulfric and click Use Info, here we go. So, uh, used by these objects. Basically, this means what other objects actually refer to Ulfric in their uh, settings or whatever. Um, so, for example, if I find, oh look, here we go, Windhelm Location. So basically, the location of Windhelm refers to Ulfric because, well, Ulfric's in Windhelm in the game. If I scroll down, Quests, here we go. Uh, we've got some quests. Um, don't know exactly what these quests are, but as you say, uh, they relate to Ulfric. And now down here, we've got used in these cells. So in the creation kit, cells are actually um, the word for like basically the areas in the game. So if you like inside your house in Breeze Home, that's a cell. Uh, and it's all designed uh, in a cell. Uh, if you go click find Windhelm, it's it's in a cell so a cell is like a specific like section of the of, of your of skyrim basically um so that's what it means used in these cells and we've got Windhelm palace of the kings so there we go because that's where he is in the game so it uses him in that cell uh, so if i click off that that's basically the object window so if i just delete that on my filter uh, minimize that uh, that's the object window like I said so we now we want to move over to the render window but before we look at the render window we actually have to go into the cell view because th these two are connected together so if we look in cell view we've got world space and basically this is like uh, which space in the world so we've got interiors and that's basically uh, all the world spaces are just like a collection of other cells so if we click on interiors we've got all the cells in um, that are like indoors so like we've got the inside of Breeze home we've got Windhelm stables, um, etc. Other things. Uh, let me try and find a good example. Um, far more embassy one, far more embassy two, etc. etc. So you can also do that. But if I click on world space again, I can choose all the place. So I can find uh, let's see, the East Empire warehouse. So that will give me all the interiors of the East Empire warehouse. Uh, but if you want to find, say, if you want to just like look at the entire outside of Skyrim you want to go down to Tamriel because that's the um, the what's called region of um, all the don't know the words gone out my head uh, but basically that's outside so you'd go down and you find the actual section in the outside so say I wanted to find let's have given an example um, trying to find somewhere somewhere good not a pine forest no thank you Let's scroll up a little bit Let's just do Lost, Lost Valley Redoubt 01. So once you found like a cell you want to look at, you just double click it, and then after a few, uh, like after a minute, a few minutes, uh, it should pop up in the render render window. So we click into the render window, and now I'll just go into this more in depth now. Uh, so to navigate in the render window, you can have a use the you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out like this, and if you uh click the mouse wheel, hold it in and move your mouse then it will pan around and move the camera if you uh, left click that, that you can select things with that so if I move over to this uh, tree over here oops, I can oop, I can like select something here and it selects the, uh, the tree for example if I right click uh, let me zoom out a bit so you can see more but say I select this tree here and then I hold right click I can actually move the that rotates things so I can do that. Um, if I zoom out some more, you can actually see the cell that we're in. We clicked on Lost Valley, uh, whatever it was. Uh, so we can see the actual um, what, what we clicked on. So um, it's not it's not really hard to navigate. If you hold Shift and move your mouse, it it moves like that. So you can uh, get a better view on things like this. So I can look down here on these stairs, um, and then I can use my hold my mouse wheel in and move around to pan. And then, you know, say, oh, I want to rotate this thing here. Oops, clicked on the wrong thing there. Rotate. I need to zoom in a bit more to get more in-depth on that. Click on that. I can rotate these rocks around. Uh, there we go. Looks pretty weird now, but 
that's what we that's what we did. Look, there we go. Get that rock out like that. So um, it's not very complicated to um, you know, move or navigate in the render window, but that's basically it. So um, if we move back down to the cell view now, um, on the other side of the uh, cell view, we've got this little section. This basically is on the cell that we've selected all the things that are inside it. So we've got there's a rock in there. There's a tree reach bush. There's a, a, a shrub. Um, if I find a better example, actually, if I go into world space and I go up to, let's find, uh, interiors, and then I go, I think it's Breeze Home or White Run Breeze Home. Um, let's scroll up. White Run. Um, sorry about this one second. White Run, and then we should have Breeze Home somewhere. There we go, White Run Breeze Home. So if I do, oh, see, look, if you get another one of these warnings when you're doing something in the creation kit, just ignore it and click yes to all, like I said at the beginning. Here we go, yes to all again, yes to all. And now I'm in the Breeze Home. So if we go back to the render window, there we go, we're in Breeze Home. Just have a look at that. Yep, that's it. Hold shift to look around a bit more. There we go. So now if I forget, like I said, go back to the cell view. You can actually see the items in it. So we can see there's a glazed plate in there. Uh, which there is, a uh, goblet, cup, uh, there's candles, there's bowls, there's uh, a cobweb corner, let's find something a bit, um, a loft mid, so like these are like all the parts, so if I select this part here, uh, let's select this bit here, this is uh, in a wall door, doorway, so if I select that and then drag it, oops, sorry about that, and then I can drag that around, oops, oh, sorry about this, it's not working properly, Look, there we go, just drag the door. Now I've dragged the doorway around. I can uh, drag other things around, but basically it's really simple to move things around in here. So I can rotate this little box here a bit more. Uh, I can click on this and move it around. If I want to zoom in a bit more on things, hold shift, move around a bit more like this. Oops, just be careful because it's quite uh, sensitive sometimes. Got a bookcase there, I've got a bowl if I want this bowl to me, Ooh, not that this bowl to be on the floor maybe uh, oh yeah another thing I've not mentioned is if you hold Z and like drag up and down it locks it to the Y axis so it only goes up and down which is quite useful so you want to just get something down don't want to move it about so there we go that's on the floor now that's quite nice um, but yeah this is basically the, the basics of the creation kit so I've showed you how to use uh, the the object window I've showed you how to use the render, win render window and I've showed you the cell view so, um, oh, other than uh, in the cell view, I forgot to mention, there's another filter here uh, where I can type in, if I want to just find a plate, well, let's type in plate. There we go, I've got all the glazed plates in there now. Lovely. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, there's, a, there's other things you can explore, like the toolbars at the top, but um, you don't really need to use them for basic stuff. But feel free to have mess around and um, see what things do. Like if I press this little light bulb here, It'll change it, the lighting in the render window, but I won't go into any of these things now. But just have it mess around and get used to the creation kit. And then I'll, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to be making an NPC. So um, see you next time.